Well, if he's... Oh boy, you're over there and you're unconscious and he's backing away and I'm an FBI agent who suddenly you remembered sure where are. I am. <laughs> so I just go, okay. And I pull out my gun and I go, freeze. And then I pull out my badge and I just go, this is the FBI. Get on the ground. As, as soon as you pull out the, you can, uh, actually I don't think you can, uh, as soon as you start pulling for his gun, you see just his hand glows a sickly green and starts to twitch at a blinding speed. And you you feel the ground shake as several of these things like throw off their tarps, and there are about four wooden golems uh, coming to life in the corners of this warehouse. Okay, well if he's gonna you know pull pull a weapon on me, <laughs> there's gonna be two things I want to do at this. Well, no, first I want to do um, I basically just want to go full Cthulhu on him. And just sure. say, I wouldn't do that if I were you. <laughs> like, uh, eyes green, everything, d uh, world darkens yeah. around me slightly as I, like, just yeah. invade his mind and just try to hurt him really yeah. bad in the head. Roll it. Roll it up. Convince. With your tags. With my tags. Okay, so I want to throw mind reading at this. Can I also mm -hmm. burn only link to normalcy? In my uh, yeah, FBI I agent that. tag? Okay. Sure. That's terrifying, those <laughs> words you just said, Dave. I'm nervous about this. Uh, okay. So this is going to be a plus two. Please be good. Please be good. <laughs> oh, it is. I got a five and a four, so that's a nine plus two. So 11 math. <laughs> um, he, you see it, like, as you say this and invade his mind, you see his, like, the corner of his eye starts to bleed a little bit, and his hand stops, but he he smiles and says, oh, It is far too late. My children will protect me. And you still feel them start moving. Okay, well, if he's not going to stop, I'm not going to either. Because <laughs> <laughs> yep. I think I've gone too far. Um, so, because I, I think I want to, like, I'm definitely using my lose control weakness tag. <laughs> but, um, uh, I think I just, I'm gonna just feast on his head. <laughs> like, I just want to burn, I'm just gonna burn his mind. Uh, Alright. Let's say, well, before that you full on do this, what, a, Kinsey, how are you trying to wake up Sloan? Um, I... First, want to take a look at her hands where she touched the wood and see if they are different in any way. Because when my hand got in contact with something that was bad, it just didn't stop bleeding. I want to see if her hands are okay. Her hand is normal. Yeah, it looks fine. It's normal. Okay, cool. You're not turning to wood. That's great. That was my fear, but it's fine. Um, I would like to. Um, I would like to. Uh, um try to uh i don't know if it's a mental block if because like just kind of jostling her doesn't seem to be doing anything does it not really yeah you can roll something to try okay um this would probably be uh, this might be changing this is probably changing the game this would be you using a story tag to wake her up i would say uh, I want to try. I actually want to try waking her up from from the inside out. So instead of like, um, uh, I want to try to reach reach into her mind, um, and in a way, just make her make her believe that she's already awake and okay. Interesting. Um, yeah, by by altering her by altering her mental perception and just being like, <laughs> yo, <laughs> yo, you're awake and you need to be awake right now. <laughs> Yeah, roll it up, roll it up. Plus one. <laughs> Just divert all power to the dark energy drive and we'll slingshot right around this thing. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a nine. Uh, say nine. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to say you give her the, uh, because this is using, giving your allies an advantage. So I'm going to say with a nine, uh, she does wake up. As she opens, as you open your eyes and come back to consciousness, Sloan, you feel a brief, just a slight tinge in your head of a headache. And what you see, Kinsey, is you see her her eye, the pupil there is, like, it splits into nine different circles just for a second all around, and then coalesces back into one. And 
she is normal. It's fucking cool. <laughs> That's Kinsey's face. <laughs> <laughs> And I feel a headache. I just a little bit of a headache. It was just like a twinge of pain that went away a second later, and you feel fine. Hi. Hi. <laughs> um, I'm gonna point over. We'll deal with whatever that was later. I'm gonna point over to the uh, mecha machines. Yeah, there are and... four like large wooden golems moving towards you guys, and like you see Noah just staring this man down. Like, I'm like probably man, walking uh, towards him, but like just everything about me is just gone full, <laughs> full horrifying. Well, I also see that, and I say, oh, I'll do, uh, I'll go there, and I'll point to Noah. You go there, and I point to the golems. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really hoping the Valkyrie takes out the big things while I work on the puny man's little mind. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's go. Let's go back to you, Noah. Uh, roll a. What were you rolling? What tags are you using? Uh, let's see. Probably go first, though. This is probably or hit it with all you got. Probably hit him with all I got because, yeah, <laughs> I'm losing it all. I got a six plus one. So seven plus one is uh, eight. Nice. So on that, he, like, you see him standing his ground. Like, he knows what's happening. And you hear, like, not only do Sloan and, and Kinsey hear, but there are, like, the whispers are now stronger than they have ever been emanating around you. And you are beginning to make out what they are saying. Um, and they are telling of a land um, where someone lies sleeping. And with that, uh, he he is bleeding hard from his eyes, but his hand is still, like, it has now begun twitching again. And these things are now, like, coming to, and they are starting to, like, move definitely towards all of you, especially uh, Noah. Lone, what do you do? <laughs> I was going to say, I got mind powers. Gold don't have minds. <laughs> yeah, uh... How do I feel? Do I feel like weak or achy? Yeah, you feel okay. Or... Uh, you feel like it, it feels like you just got up from a very brief nap. So I feel refreshed. <laughs> yeah, it was a little too brief for that. Right when you wake up from the nap, you're just like, oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you're maybe a little. If anything, you're maybe a, a hair of wrong. You regain all of your mana slots. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <You're bad. laughs> Um, I think upon seeing this, I'm immediately going to, um, summon my wings. Um, and so I think probably out of the shadows in this room, all of the, that's where all of the ravens start flying to congregate behind me. Um, and then, uh, I'm, I'm gonna get my spear out and my shields, and I would like to... Are, is, are there any golems that are particularly close to Noah? Uh, there's one who's kind of next, next to the workshop, or like the workbench that he showed you first. That one's probably the closest. Is it like, in terms of feet, how close is it to Noah? 15 feet, 20. I'm going to charge directly at that to try to slam it into the wall. Hit it with all you got. Yes. Hit it with your best shot. And your big muscles. <laughs> and your big muscles. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so that, I rolled a six and a one, um, seven, so, uh, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I thought it was ten. Um, yeah, you get to choose two. Uh, you can secure a superior position, you can get them good, or get, you could get many of them, too. Um, control collateral damage, which will come into contact here. Hold the target's attention, or gain the upper hand to get juice. Juice. <laughs> I really hate that it's called that, I can't tell you. <laughs> It's not only called juice, but it's called juice with like capital letters. Juice. <laughs> juice. Um, did you say I could pick one of those? Two. Two. So, um, I uh, did you say I could get many of them in this? Yeah, that one of the options is get many of them. Oh, could I could I do that? I would like to do yeah. that. I would, I would yeah, like that's... to do that. Sure. And what else, what second one are you gonna choose? Uh, I would like. Well, I want juice, so I'd like to get the upper hand, please. All right, you get a one juice, 
and you can deal a tier. You can you could get them up to a major status. What major status would you like to give them? I would like to break that. Then I broke. Can I make them broken since they're gone? I mean, not entirely, but I'd say like you to, see like, break an arm and like a yeah. I'd leg. see you like you guys see Sloane with her wings and her lightning spear just kind of like zipping back and forth, like trying to gain the poor golem's attention, like breaking off a piece of arm, like chipping one of their shoulders away. One of them is like, cut through the leg and falls to one leg and starts like crawling with both hands towards you guys, but they are generally crawling towards Sloane now as she has gained this attention, and they are, are four, like, hobbled wooden golems heading towards her. Kinsey, what do you do? Uh... Well, I'm very nervously eyeing Noah. Um, <laughs> I don't want Noah to uh, accidentally kill us all. Um, but uh, I think I am going to um, uh, attempt to. Um, I want to try to Im immobilize this this doctor. Um, <laughs> <laughs> now we already talked to the doctor in the last episode. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You're right. You're right. Um. Uh, specifically by flooding their minds with information. Okay. His mind is say... pretty flooded right now. <laughs> right now. I'm gonna say with that, I'm gonna have you roll one more time too. No, I'm gonna have both you guys roll. Um, you were going to roll, hit him with all you got, and you can either roll convince or hit him with all you got as well, Noah. That the two of you roll. Oh, I've, I've been hitting him with all I got. <laughs> Can I roll with help from Kinsey? Because I have a help in Kinsey. Okay. Yeah. So mind reading and help, I guess. Yeah. Oh, I have a... Wait, I have a help for Noah. Damn, got two sixes. Nice. So then I guess what a plus you? two, so that's uh, 12, 14. <laughs> you might want to get out of this mind that. while you still can. <laughs> <laughs> what did you what did you get? I got a nine. Uh you got a nine. Okay, you what you see, I think in a nine for your going. Yeah. Your I think just a little bit from you, your like ears start to bleed a little bit, Kinsey, as you are like hit with the the reverb as Noah just like you you hear whispers loudly, like barely whispers now. It's almost like chanting. Uh, yeah, like, it, it just like a rhythm, rhythmical, and there are like spectral, spectral tentacles just like emanating from his body, and you see this old man, his eyes are just like, they pop, and his ears bleed, and he falls to the ground dead. Your mind, give it to me. <laughs> um, you can, uh, you can level up, uh, mind domination all the way. If you don't have... <laughs> oh. That's terrifying. And um, we'll talk about maybe the mystery later. Um, and <laughs> you and uh, you feel a little bit of it as you watch this man die. Um, you see the, like the the energy on his hands begins to fade away, but the the light in the eyes of these beings, these golems, glows even brighter, and you see them angry. Oh, you no, see their bad. posture change. They can't uh, as they start like just charging. Uh, Sloan as best they can, hobbled legs, missing arms. Uh, in all honesty, if Noah's done <laughs> with this whole with this guy, uh, I he probably literally just stands there and looks like he's just like like he's just finished a big meal, uh, but like it, it's still like tentacle like just full Cthulhu mode out on everything. Um, and it's almost like he's about to kind of regain himself and maybe attack somebody else. But for now, he's like almost feeling like he's just reveling in the fact that he just feasted on a mind. <laughs> uh, what do you do, Sloan? Um, so I would make sure to activate like my spirit form. Um, yeah. And uh, so you see what Sloan looks like at this point, I think upon seeing this, you can see that like she turns into something that's more spectral, but she has, she looks like she actually has like armor on her now. Um, and it would be like, I don't know if, if anyone's familiar with Valkyrie armor, or how it's presented, they usually have like a, a helm that covers part of their eyes and it's this huge kind of chainmail armor that she's wearing. Um, and I'm going to 
grab one of the shields so that I can actually have it on me and use my spear and I'm gonna just start fucking bashing the shit out of these things. Like, I'm yeah. just tanking. I'm just gonna tank I'm, them. I'm gonna have you roll face danger first and then you can hit it with all you got. Okay. Because these things are now on you and they are beginning to pummel and kick at best thing. Okay, okay. That's uh, 8, 9, 10, 11. Nice. Uh, you don't. You manage like with your spectral form and your shields. Like they are just trying to pound on you, and you feel them encroaching. But for now, you have managed to fend them off without taking any damage. But the like, you are now surrounded by these things that are like encompassing. Great. Roll hit. Uh, what do I got? Do I, do I add stuff to this too? Yeah. Same thing. It's good. Same thing. Whatever you've been adding, like your uh, uh, the attacks that you've been doing. Oh, bless. Uh, that's a six and a five. What is that, oh 11? My God. So yeah. I think 13 total. Yeah, uh, with that, you can do the same thing. You can um, get them good or get many of them. You can take covers. You probably want to do the get many of them again. Yeah. Um, you can also control, oh, uh, hold the target's attention, gain another juice, or uh, control, yeah, control color damage, hold the attention, which you already kind of have. Gain the upper hand juice or secure a superior position. You can choose one more because I'm assuming you're going to get many of them again. Want to get many of them. Uh, and then, um, what was the last one? To gain a superior position? Yes. I want that. Okay. Uh, where? What kind of position do you get? Um, so I think that... While this is happening, I'm trying to use my, like, dispersion thing, which what it looks like is that I, I turn into lightning and I'm, like, trying to disperse myself into lightning strikes here and there so that I can't be hit. Um, and I think when I finally merge myself back together, I would like to literally position myself above them so that they... But my hope is that when I got them that I am aiming to try to... Um, to fuck their legs up so that they can't walk, so that they're literally going okay. to be stuck on the ground and I want to position sure. myself above them. Yeah, you can, you're giving them a tier four, which is a dramatic status now with how much you're adding on. So that would be, I would say you could like topple them as a status where they can no longer, they would not be able to get to you. They will be able to get to your friends. That's okay, but, I have plans for that too. Sure, <laughs> sure. Um, yeah, you like you, with your lightning strikes, you have cut them off the legs. They are now just some of them are still missing arms, but they are just on the floor. They're still big, menacing creatures, but they cannot reach you at, at where you are currently. Do I still have their attention though, or are they because they can't reach me? Are they like looking at every other? Is it the now? no? You chose superior position to get many of them. You did not choose yeah. hold the attention, so they are they are a little bit more distracted now. Okay. And especially because they now realize they can't get to you, they are looking at you, comrade. At least some okay. of them. Uh, the other thing that happens because uh, of what you chose is some of the lightning begins to arc off and you see other, not necessarily golems, but other machines begin to whir and activate. You see a a strange metal cannon on one side. Uh, you see what looks like a prototype wooden and metal exosuit on one star just begin to vibrate a little bit. And you see these things all around this workshop begin to just slightly spark the life with the energy you are giving off. Hmm. See. Uh, what do you two do? So when you say a cannon, <laughs> like with and cannon, when you like, say, like, <laughs> and when you say spark to life, does that mean usable? Maybe you could certainly try. I would love to. Oh, don't stop at the like? cannon. He said mech suit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> I don't. I have a tag called exceptionally fragile. That could apply to my body. <laughs> so I'm not going to go into a mech suit. My boons. <laughs> my boons. Uh, but I would like to try to hop over to that, that, that cannon and see if I could um, wreck shit. Yeah, it is there. The cannon is it is metal, but there are like glass tubes um, in certain parts. There is like bronze, some bronze metals that are like gears and knobs. It is strange and uh, not quite like traditional, but you could certainly try to use it. I mean, especially with your kind of knowledge, uh, you can roll either 
I'm gonna say take the risk. This is definitely a risky maneuver. But okay. I will let you. Awesome. Endless knowledge would be applicable. That's what, exactly what I was looking at. <laughs> I was gonna say if there's a user manual, she could just look at it, read it, and know how to use it. I, I have a tag called endless knowledge, so. <laughs> yeah. Ha. Oh, it's a five. That's a five. Uh, <laughs> you, okay. Well, we'll get to you in a second. Noah, what are you doing? So, I, it's almost like I breathe in, like, That's... a really, uh, like, deep breath of, like, satisfaction. And then as I'm about to kind of exhale, you know, like, if you were to take, like, a long drag on a cigarette and just exhale a bunch of smoke, green smoke yeah. comes out, but then I immediately jut forward and a gigantic tentacle just comes out of my mouth with, like, a couple spikes on the end of it. It's like, <laughs> and it's just kind of, like, hanging out of my mouth. And I, like, look up with my green eyes, and I decide that I'm I'm going to try and help attacking some of these uh, these golems in front of me with that weird, gross tentacle in my mouth. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll hit with all you got. Alrighty. Oh, no. Can I use mm. Hunter's skin as well? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, I'll take that, yeah. Icky. <laughs> I will, okay, I will point out, actual contact is one of my weaknesses. <laughs> <laughs> so should yeah, it, it just even. negate itself, kind of thing? Yeah, make it easy. I got a However, five and a say, three. Well, what? Okay, that I mean, does it wouldn't have changed it. But I, say, I would say you can, you remember you have crew tags. I would let you burn having each other's back for this, because you currently are doing that. Oh, yeah. That's oh, sure, sure that's yeah. All your... Well, it's a little late now. I mean, it wouldn't change it. So it also oh. wouldn't change it, and 8 to 9 doesn't change anything. Oh, okay. Would. Okay. Then, yeah. Um, yeah, you are hitting it with all you've got. Uh, you, so you get to choose one with a not, or with an 8. Um, I would say if you want to get them good with what status you have, I you could destroy one of them with the tentacle. Oh, yeah, that'd be, be kick ass. All of them, but you could. Go on, destroy one. What does that look like? Uh, basically, uh, there's one that's kind of crawling towards me a little bit, pathetically, but it's big enough that it could, like, just slam a hand down, I guess, on me. But my tentacle thing just, like, shoots, like, in a straight line around the things, kind of, like, through the thing's body, wraps around it, and then just kind of pulls in a way that it just kind of shatters the thing in a couple different directions. And then the tentacle just kind of like hits the ground and slithers kind of back closer towards me, but still is sticking out of my mouth and I'm like hunched over like this horrifying like corpse thing. <laughs> like I look really terrifying. And you see the green like glass eyes of this thing just fade. The light behind them just fades as the thing is destroyed. Uh, we're going to go with, with what happened to Kinsey now. Kinsey, you, like, as as this one gets destroyed, you guys see that, like, a large cannonball, but it is glowing with this, like, plasma blue energy. It shoots out, and it just blows one of their heads up. However, I don't, I maybe you see it in the aftermath, you see Kinsey thrown back against the shutter of this warehouse, and you gain the status of Shattered Arm. Aha, I'm it's very now fragile. Broken your arm. Ooh, shattered or just broken? Because there's a big difference in those shattered, words. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty bad break. Ooh, so what? What's what status is that? Because I still like shattered arm. Earlier. Okay. Shattered arm. It would say level three. Three. Huh. Ow. Uh. She doesn't say, oh, she, there's a loud, there's a loud, <laughs> you, hear, you, hear the, well, you hear the boom, and then right afterward, you hear, like, the metal shutter hit. Ugh. There was a loud cry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and what are you doing, Sloane, as you now have seen your friends have, there are two left. Two of these things that are hot, like, they, one is missing an arm, both of them are missing their leg. I have one shield that I'm holding, and I want to take the other shield, and I literally want to fly up and, like, slam myself down on them so that these shields, like fall into yeah. their heads and hopefully sure. break them. Smoosh. Come on, slam. Welcome yeah! to the juice. <laughs> Welcome to the juice. Juice. Um, uh, <laughs> the juice is loose. <laughs> I think after seeing that happen to Kinsey, Sloan is super concerned, so I'm going to burn um, my shields. Okay. So that okay. this happens. Okay, you are burning. Are when you're doing this, is is 
what is going through Sloane's mind? You saw um, this happen, Kinsey. What is your what is at the forefront of your mind? I think well, the forefront of my mind is that uh, if I saw that, well, first of all, Noah looks fucked up, um, <laughs> and then when I saw Kinsey get thrown back and hit the wall, I assumed that at least my medical knowledge somewhere told me that was really bad, what happened. Okay. And that she's probably really hurt, and that makes okay. me, my immediate concern is to ensure that she's okay, um, and that they can't get to her. Okay. Yeah, roll it. Okay. Well, I'm burning it, so do I have to roll oh, it? No, you don't. It's a, it's on an automatic count. Great. Um, I think for this, you can mark attention to, uh, how do I weigh a life in these times? I'd say that's somewhat applicable. Because your forefront of your mind was, how do I help people, not let me just kill them. Right. So mark attention to that thing. Uh, and yeah, you slam down, and I'm assuming you want to get many of them, and with what, what they have left, you just slam down, and these things just shatter to pieces. An eye, but like a green eye, glass eye, just flies by Noah's face, um, and just wood splinters and cracks underneath your shield. I would also, since just for flavor, since I'm burning this and wouldn't be able to use my shields again for a while, that when I do this, my shields also shatter. Sure. Not that. Everything breaks. Everything breaks. <laughs> Mirrors, columns, shields, arms, you know. Cannons. Yeah, the cannon's Cannon. pretty fucked. Dude. <laughs> yeah. uh, and you guys are left in this warehouse, just wood and, like, oil and smoke filling it. Man, I sure um, hope this wasn't, okay. like, a legal operation in this world. <laughs> we just murdered a guy just doing his job. <laughs> we fucked this up pretty big. <laughs> um, uh, as the golems, I guess, are, you know, dead and stuff, I'm looking pretty crazy still, but all of a sudden, in my back pocket, you hear th the radio has actually been, like, crackling for a bit, but it was so hard to hear it during all the chanting going on from me being me. <laughs> um, but uh, now that things have calmed down, you can hear that it's actually yelling Noah. Like, Noah! It, like, in the crackles. And then all of a sudden, like, uh, Noah just kind of freezes up a little bit. The tentacle falls out of his mouth instead of retracting, and then just kind of sizzles and shrivels up. And then I kind of get up, and I close my eyes, and I just collapse. <laughs> And now see Noah on the floor collapse. <laughs> I'm crying, by the way. <laughs> I'm, 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 like, oh my I'm in like a little ball and I'm like holding my sad arm, but like not really because it hurts. <laughs> I'm just I'm reaching for it, but I know like, like I don't want to touch it because it's just it's just a jelly arm. <laughs> 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 If you haven't uh, touched you... a shattered bone side of an arm or a leg, it's disgusting. It's... Shattered bones and bodies are bad. It's, it's not, not great. Good. It's no good, not good. <laughs> no. It's no good, no good. <laughs> uh, yeah, what do you, uh, what do you guys do after, after this, like, shutdown slash injury in this warehouse? Leave. <laughs> I'm gonna... <laughs> no, are you unconscious, or are you just, like, Collapsing and processing. Uh, I'm probably unconscious, but not very long. I want to say like maybe a minute or something. I come back to, but like it takes me a bit to get back up. <laughs> long time to be unconscious, so I I will probably check Noah, make sure there's no concussion. I'm so <laughs> concerned about that. You guys, we keep getting hit pretty hard. <laughs> I'm <laughs> just supernaturally down. unconscious. It's totally cool. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna check Noah, and then I'm gonna run over to Kinsey, and probably see that her arm looks super duper fucked. It's not good. Yes. <laughs> and I will, although knowing it, it might hurt, but knowing that kind of injury, she's probably going into some level of shock, so I'm going to uh, pick her up so that her jelly arm will rest against my body so it doesn't dangle and do any more nerve damage. Mm -hmm. uh, and I will look at Noah and say, I think this might require, um, we gotta go to a hospital. This is, this is super, this is not good. 
Awesome. I kind of just go. I think we. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you not know, There's still a little just right over. Yep, there you go. This is uh, why I don't drink. <laughs> we also, um, I don't, I, this is not, I'm not sure what, I think this is bad what we just, what I. We'll have to talk about it later. Let's get to a hospital now. Okay. Okay, and you guys are just kind of leaving. Is that the plan? Yeah, leaving and not talking. <laughs> okay. Okay. Just scan, I'd like to scan my eyes really quickly just to make sure if there's if there's something that kind of tugs at me to grab to take with us. Uh, oh, it's like the schematic is the schematic lying out on his table. The is schematic is lying out. I think out of anything, the wood too would call you. Yeah, but you touched. But are it these and like lumber pieces? Up. Is this like a two by four? Um, it is, well, there are, like, big, like, it's pretty big, but with, especially with you, you could carry at least one of the cases by yourself, I think, with your but strength. But I'm carrying Kinsey. She doesn't have a shattered leg. <laughs> wow, Ty. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> shit. He's Ladies not wrong. Gentlemen. I'm just saying. <laughs> Welcome to the stage. <laughs> My boyfriend, he cares a lot, I promise. <laughs> um, I will, um... <laughs> I will, uh, I will look at Noah and say, can you, can you carry her? Is this something you think you can do? Yeah. I, okay. I don't, I, it, it, Noah is definitely giving off the impression he has no idea where he is, but he's just going with an emergency situation, like, sees friends all broken, sees dead bodies and weird dead golems all over the place, knows something went down, but isn't sure what it was. We'll hand off Kinsey to him, and I will go and grab the schematic and pick up one of the things of wood. Do I okay. collapse again, or no? <laughs> no. no I, I think you're grabbing it from the case. Like I think blast. you're closing it and carrying it from the case now. You're not just carrying, like, a stack of wood. You're carrying, like, <laughs> you're the not case just touching it. <laughs> you're careful enough not to do that. Uh, you guys take the take the wood and, uh, and Kinsey back into the Chevy Coop. And you drive away from the mess that is this warehouse and into what is now becoming the night of Citrine Valley. And that's where we will end this evening. Almost. Shit. Now we are going to do a move called Montage. Mm. It's your downtime. I think we see a scene of Kinsey in a hospital for sure. Probably being regularly visited by Sloan and Noah. And she has, her arm is repaired. There are pins in it. Um, you can reduce that that uh, status to a tier one status of uh, of like healing arm and you can get rid of the bleeding status that that's easy enough to heal but you do notice it, it despite healing you still have what looks like an open wound under it. and occasionally if you look you can see almost a glimmer with it. shiny blood uh and so that's kind of the the montage scene of kinsey well i i sure did get injured and also burn something. Um, but I super want to explore my mythos. Okay. So, um, Sure. Okay. Which mystery do you want to explore? And how do you do so? Well, I would like to, without letting Kinsey and Noah know, I want to, the next day, go wherever on that card that I got. I oh. want to go, I want to go there. That's what I want to do. Okay, which mystery are you trying to solve exactly? Um, because I can also there was, tell you. Because there was uh, that moment where she did something and it felt familiar to me, mm -hmm. then I want to explore the, um, I don't know if I sent you the latest one, but this was after we talked, um, who is Odin and what is my connection to them? Is that what you changed Divine Lightning for? Yes. Gotcha. Oh, you Does changed the sense? mystery. Gotcha, gotcha, yeah. gotcha. Um, yeah, I think with that, like, we, that was the scene we could play out next time. So you're running a little oh, late. no, 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 but, for, um, sure, for sure. I would say you walk in and, like, into, it's a bar. Um, it's called J, J-A-Y, J's Fen. And you walk into this bar, just a, a dive, and, um, you show your card to a very muscular bouncer with a, um, shape sides, a, a blonde on top. And he nods, and that's that will fade out for that for you. You can mark attention to that mystery's theme, and you can write on it that you have one clue towards it. And we will talk about that later. 
Um, Noah. <laughs> so here's what happens with Noah. He takes the, the cassette out of his recorder, he puts it into a manila envelope, and he has a stamp um, for an address on it, and he puts the stamp onto the, uh, the um, manila envelope. He goes to the post office and he drops it off, and you see a montage of it, like, you know, going through several hands of the post office. It arrives at an address, um, it, and uh, at that address you see it get slipped by the postman into the door, uh, into, like, a slot in the door. And uh, then the, the, the manila envelope lands on a pile of manila envelopes, and on the manila envelope it says uh, Dana Elder and then her address on it. And it's just a mountain of cassette tapes that he's shipped over to her in an empty, abandoned house. Uh, yay, uh, you can boy. mark attention to that logo. <laughs> Whatever logo that is your... I'm going to pull it up, but I know what the logo that is. That's your FBI agent logo, so mark an attention yeah. to it. Um, and so those scenes happen, just seeing them like fading in and out of one another. And we come to a couple days later when you guys are back in the abandoned library. I think Kinsey's probably still in a sling. Uh, and you hear the, the door. <laughs> I answer the door. You know, next time you can use the secret knock. Uh, remind me, what was that one more time, Noah? <sighs> Just get in here. <laughs> <laughs> and once again, you are face to face with Graham, who is a uh, very pale man with angular features and a mop of black hair and a immaculate white ascot around his neck. So I've heard uh, rumblings and um, whispers of um, some busyness that's been happening recently. What have, you, uh, what have you found out? What have you been up to? And he like flips open a notepad and a pen. Well, I'll it's let them tell you, arm. but uh, you want a drink? Yes, I'll have a uh, gin on the rock. All right, he goes off to the <laughs> kitchen and lets you guys talk to him. Don't all rush, please. <laughs> We're looking at Kinsey and Sloane. Uh... They just start crying. <laughs> 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 oh, my body broke. <laughs> so, but... Our mission may have escalated a bit. Uh, he starts writing a little bit. Well, what was in the, uh, what was the artifact? find out who wants it it was wood like some fucked up wood <laughs> mm. fucked up wood you say fascinating stuff it's anything else to go on fucked up wood is a is not a great story all right all right uh, is and there I'll... anything I, I start relaying um i skip over meeting up with what's his name and go straight to that we tra traced it and tracked it to this warehouse um, and explained what happened after that. Roll a... Somewhere. It's not quite applicable, but roll a uh, face danger. Oh. Yeah, with Indomitable. Oh. Great. Oh, I don't like that. I'm nervous now. Uh, that's an eight. You, as you're talking to him, not, like, you, you leave out that part, and you see his eyes just kind of, like, just narrow a hair for a second as you, like, you, he knows you skip over something. And as you're doing it, you just feel like, as he intensifies and starts writing faster and faster, you feel compelled to tell him your story. And, um, just, in like, your details get more, more specific, and you become more verbose. As he just smiles and continues to write, and um, writes down your tale, and that scene fades away. Before it fades away, I return with a coffee, <laughs> and I hand it to him. <laughs> Swinging a miss again, Noah, but uh, hey for effort. And uh, drinks it as he continues to write, and the scene fades to black. And uh, for our final scene this night, we cut into a room, and we see the back of a man holding a phone. And he says, no, I, I never heard of them before, but uh, they do seem quite interesting. And we see on a computer, we see footage from inside of the office that Kinsey was in. And we see her from several different angles 
looking through the computer, looking through the file cabinet. And that's where we'll end for this evening. Shit. Oops. <laughs> Oopsie doodles. <laughs> this was The Absent Artifact, a City of Mist story. I'm Ty. I'll go around and say where you can find us, what you're doing, and favorite moments. We will start with Maria. Hello, it's me. I'm Maria. You can find me mostly on Twitter uh, at Happy Capster, where I post about everything and all things. A lot of the times it's cats, but you've seen all three of them tonight. Yay! <laughs> um, it's a very really pet heavy you... stream tonight. <laughs> <It all laughs> came out. <laughs> um, you can also find me at Society Goblins. Uh, that's under Gosto Go Goblin Society Games. Also on Twitter. Um, we're trying to release a book full of magic items. That's coming soon. As well as a bunch of cool stuff that we have planned for the future. And it's really cool. Um, my favorite moment um, was... Mm, well, it was going to be just Noah piercing my heart and making it sad all the time. <laughs> but sad then that last character. scene made me really scared and sad. So... <laughs> it's a fine <laughs> line to walk, but Noah finds a way. <laughs> uh, so yeah, Noah just all the time, and then the fact that actions have consequences. Yep. Uh, and we'll go to Emma. Hello. I'm Emma. Uh, you can find me at MK Hansen on Twitter. Um, my favorite moment tonight. There were sure a lot of good moments tonight. Um, this was a great session. I don't actually know if I can pick one. There were a lot of highlights, I guess. Two or three, yeah. Um, I think probably watching Kinsey try to make their way through that office and then realizing I'm fucked and stuck <laughs> here. Um, and then when Noah went full Cthulhu <laughs> with the tentacle and the eyes and the, the stuff everywhere, I think it, it's, it's been really fun to see how everybody is using um, their abilities. Um, yeah. That's it. And Dave. Hello, it's me, Dave. <laughs> You can find me at, uh, at Mystery Mythos on Twitter, and I run the Mythos Mystery Society YouTube and podcast, so you can find us on those things as well. Um, my favorite part of the night is I ate a dude's head! <laughs> that was fun! <laughs> I ate a brain today. <laughs> it was really good. <laughs> yeah, no, but uh, just thought uh, this whole new system is really cool to figure out and, like, play, uh, and I'm just having a fun time just, like, playing it. Like, doing things like, oh, I'm not just rolling, I'm sacrificing my only link to normalcy to make this roll better. <laughs> like, that's fucking cool. <laughs> um, but uh, as far as uh, other things I have to pitch, um, on Wednesday we will be playing more uh, Delta Green, it sounds like. Uh, not 100% official. Sounds pretty official, but there we'll let you know. Official. Yeah, we'll see if if it changes. Um, but that's uh, Chris is finally ready to play games again, so we can do that again. And then um, in uh, towards the end of July, we're gonna be doing something called Bruno Palooza, which is just a bunch of uh, it's for my birthday weekend. But like, uh, it's just a bunch of streams of everything. Like we're gonna be doing uh, like a bunch of different. Uh, tabletop role-playing games in a row, and we're going to be playing a couple uh, uh, board games as well, so that should be pretty fun. Uh, but it's just going to be like a weekend of streaming fun stuff, so yay! But yeah, with that, I'll send it back over to Ty. Catch. And I am... Oh. Done. Oh, My, it's I am Ty. <laughs> Follow me, find me at Bar and Brawler on Twitter. Uh, I am mainly here. Uh, I'll be here. I'm pretty sure Wednesday we'll be doing the next Delta Green, it sounds like, which is the second part, well, the third part of our Music from a Darkened Room game, if you haven't watched, uh, it's on YouTube or in podcast form to catch up. It is a very spooky, modern scenario with uh, the crew you for you and Chris. It's a lot of fun. My favorite moment from the evening was... I like... There was a lot. I like this system a lot and how everyone gets to be very unique and personable and just very open. Specifically, I think I like the fat last battle scene where everyone did something 
and it was just very, you know, eating a guy's head, tentacle <laughs> mouth, shattering your arm with a can you don't know anything about, turning into a Valkyrie and just going full, full lightning on a bunch of wood golems. It was very, very cinematic fight scene that I enjoyed. And everyone's choices, but then. Uh, and with that, that's about it, I think. We are the Mythos Join Mystery us. Society, brought to you by... Schmuckies. Schmuckies. Um... <laughs> now with more head. Now with more head. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, no, I hate it. <laughs> Leave it at that. Um, there it is. <laughs> I'm sorry. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>